meron tayong isang uh, nurse na uh, nahulog sa isang zip line at a leisure facility in Tabuk, Kalinga. At uh, ito'y nangyari Sunday afternoon. At of course, uh, because siguro uh, mataas uh, or ang reason nila is uh, bumigay yung net, yung safety net na pagbabagsakan niya na matay yung ating nurse doon sa Uh, doon after being brought to the Kalinga Provincial Hospital uh, Ang sabi ng resort is that uh, safety measures have been implemented But uh, later on they admitted that it was not yung safety net na yan It was not able to contain yung weight ng tao kaya pagbagsak niya, eh, lumusot siya doon sa ground. Okay? Uh, of course, with our condolences to the family, ano ang liability ngayon ng resort at saka resort owner? Uh, they will be liable under Article 365 of the Revised Penal Code, reckless imprudence resulting into uh, homicide. Uh, kasi namatay po yung ating uh, victim here. Then they will also be liable for damages under Article 2197 of the new Civil Code. Ang uh, shortcut na uh, ang damages na ito pwedeng actual or compensatory damages, uh, moral damages, nominal damages, temperate or moderate damages, exemplary damages. Under a Supreme Court decision, ang actual death compensation is isang daang libo. Meaning, you do not need to prove anything. Certificate of death lang ang ipresent mo, then that amounts to 100,000 pesos. Pag wala ka ng ibang danyos na hinihingi. Uh, pero, uh, if you will look at the life expectancy of the victim. Halimbawa, 30 years old lang yung victim na yan, pwede bang sumingil ng potential or unearned income ng victim na yan? Uh, meron tayong, again, uh, we rely on Supreme Court decisions, meron tayong tinatawag na American Expectancy Table of Mortality or the act or combined experience table of mortality. In the case of Lambert versus heirs of Ray Castillon, uh, ang sinasabi ng life expectancy is 80 years old. So yung 30, medyo hanggang 80 pa daw siya. And uh, doon sa Villare Transit versus Court of Appeals naman, eh, sabi niya, eh, dapat meron tayong computation. How much we will earn if we have been alive at the age of 30? Uh, ang sabi nito, eh, uh, yung life expectancy is uh, two-thirds uh, times 30. Or yan yung uh, age of the deceased person at the time of death. Yung two-thirds eh, i-minus mo yung 80 years old sa 30 years old at the time of death. So that, ang uh, expected na remaining expectancy niya ay 50. No? 50 more years for his life expectancy. So halimbawa, bilang isang uh, empleyado, nag-earn siya ng 30,000 a month which is around 360 a year, 360,000 a year. Uh, Iba minus mo yung usual expenses. Ang computation ng Supreme Court ng usual expenses, daily expenses is one half of your gross income. So, 360,000 minus 180,000. No, kalahati. And itong 180,000 na, na remaining, it times 50 mo. At uh, 50 years. At 
ito ay magiging 9 million pesos. Of course, you have to go to court to claim this. Yung life or your unearned income nung namatay will be more or less 9 million pesos. Uh, plus, 100,000 actual death plus an allowable 50,000 for burial expenses. So, more or less, he or she will be entitled to 10 million pesos for the accident.